Happy Friday, everyone. Today is our consultation day, and we have a patient here who has had previous work done elsewhere and is hoping to have, or we are planning her revisions. So she has had a brachioplasty or arm lift done elsewhere. And as you can appreciate, despite the fact that they have removed some skin and tissue, I think she has one, two, three, three and a half inch of skin excess. She also has the brachial scar, which is very high up. And in order to correct this, we have to remove all of this skin and try to pull her scar down. Can I do it? Sure. And at the same time, we can elevate her armpit and correct for her armpit laxity, which is three inches, one inch in the back and at least two inches or four inches. So the arms have been done, but Really, they haven't been done in a sense. In the front, put your arms in the back, sweetheart. In the front, she has had a tummy tuck. Scar is low down here. And then she has this scar from open gastric bypass surgery. So this is not related to her tummy tuck. And the tummy tuck, they have removed skin all the way to here. But obviously she's got a ton of excess tissue remaining. So we were talking about today about converting this into a floor de lis tummy tuck. What is floor de lis? And I hate them and I don't do many of them unless I'm really, really forced to. And in here, her body type kind of forces me to consider it. So a floor de lis is an incision that goes from the top all the way to here. And then down here is an inverted T incision through which you correct for the vertical laxity and horizontal laxity. But the horizontal laxity that you correct for is not as much as sometimes desired because I can't cut this much out, which is what she needs. I'm sorry, because if you want to remove eight inches, that vertical scar has to be extended here and you have to remove it as an elliptical incision, which is impossible. She needs about eight inches to be removed. So for her, a better surgery is a flank plasty. A flank plasty removes this much, four inches from this side or five inches from this side and then five inches from the other side. So instead of getting four inches of correction just in the midline, I'm getting 10 inches of correction, which is what she needs. The, the, the other reason that I like flank plasty better than a floor the least tummy tuck is because with the floor the least, you're just getting abdominal correction. With the flank plasty, you're getting abdominal and back correction. So you, the patient gains twice the correction, plus the fact that it's two incisions, one here and one here. So you remove five, six inches here, five, six inches here, you correct for the back laxity, you correct for the abdominal laxity, and thirdly, the incision is placed much better. It's on your sides rather than in the front where by everyone can see it. So only today I would consider doing a floor de lis because she already has this incision. But having considered it, I still think even despite the fact that she has an incision here, even in this situation, a flank plasty will serve her much more and it's a better surgery for her than the floor de lis incision. So if I was to do her, I would actually, we were just talking about it and she wants buttock enhancement. I would actually liposuction the whole thing first, transfer the fat into the buttocks, wait for the skin to shrink to some degree, then come back and do a tummy tuck, extended tummy tuck and flank plastics for her. Thank you for letting us share your story and to kind of use you to educate others.